you've already cast your vote. I have. I cast my vote very early this morning. Okay, so how are you feeling about the general proceedings? And I'm very confident. The party has been through this exercise before. We know how it is done and we haven't had any issues up until this point with our process. So I'm confident that the membership will do what is right and necessary not only for the party but for the country at this time. Okay, um, speaking about membership, um, you've already started, you're seeing some of your supporters coming out already? Early? Yeah. To vote early? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And what about, um, your, are you confident in your chances to re regain your, your seat? I am confident enough that we already started our planning for the year to come. Yes. Very confident. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I'm delighted to be here at um, the LP headquarters. I cast my vote early. We looked at the, the opening of the, the ballot boxes. Um, things seem to be in order. Um, considerable improvements over last year. Um, we haven't yet seen the full members list as I would have liked as a candidate, but we, we as I say, I am more confident than I was um, a few weeks ago in terms of the transparency and process. Um, it's been an exciting campaign and I think the, that the Democratic Labour Party, regardless of outcome, although I'm feeling confident, will be the winner because everyone is focused on us. The nation is seeing the Democratic Labour Party as alive and kicking again and that is good for democracy. For those who might have seen the, the television program last year, it has, I think, become apparent to the whole nation that I've been up against two opponents. Both uh, Mr. De Pisa and, and Ms. Motley have used all that they can to try to keep me in the shadows, but I am coming forward. I'm confident in this first step against um, Ms. De Pisa and once I, once I am successful in getting the presidency, then we will press on and deal with Ms. Motley after. Because it's not just about, as I said, the DLP, it's about all of we. Barbados deserves better. Thank you.